Action Douglas. My name is Dark Pirates, and today we're at New York Comic Con for regional. Yep. New York Comic Con for regional, and I already signed up. And it's at 12, and let's see how it goes. Yes, Yugi's on my side, and part of the cards. Let's do this. Well guys, it's a day after Comic Con and I didn't fare too well in the regional, but it was still fun and it was awesome. And um, I did other things at Comic Con. I um, Well, the first thing I did, uh, I went two days. I had gone Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday when I went, I went straight after work. Well, I had to do some errands and then go after work. And um, yeah, that day I, I spent just getting my, uh, I usually buy prints at Comic Con. That's usually the main thing I buy. Um, I'm also a figure collector, so I also buy figures, but I buy that stuff straight from Japan, so it was just uh, mainly um, getting my um, prints and stuff out of the way. This year I decided to get some prints for the background, and it was mostly um, Yu-Gi-Oh related, so the first print I got was this awesome um, Yami Yu-Gi uh, print. He looks uh, pretty cool over here. You see his uh, cards, and uh, it's cool. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put him over here in the background. And uh, I also have this... Um, Seto Kaiba, because you know, me and my blue eyes. Kaiba, I don't I don't know who she is. She's one of, I think she's one of the maidens of something. <laughs> and uh, blue eyes is right here in the background, so that's pretty cool. And um, from the official Konami um, booth, I got uh, this awesome uh, print of this uh, blue eyes ultimate white dragon. Um, I think there was actually an art show. Um, I've seen other Yugi tubers I went to. They, they had the same art show, but I, I didn't. I really didn't have time to go to it. But yeah, and uh, the last thing I got, which is the one well, of the coolest things. Oh wait, actually, it's this, and then um, something else. So uh, I got the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive uh, mat. Um, they have one every year, or a different one every year. But luckily this year it was it was freaking Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I was like, um, I also. Deck box wise, they didn't have anything too crazy, so I got this um, Dark Side of Dimensions uh, Yugi deck box. It look, it's pretty cool and it has a little divider in there, so I thought it was cool. And uh, yeah, that's what um, that's what I did. Uh, I got that Saturday. Then uh, it was time for the regional. Um, I got there early. I got there like uh, well, when Comic Con opened at 10 o'clock. Um, the regional was at 12, so um, I went up and. Um, e they started taking um, application or they started taking deck lists at 11. Uh, so I hung around. I uh, there's this thing called Duel the Master, and you duel. Um, I guess uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players. I've gone to Worlds and things like that. So that was cool. I got to face two 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 um, two deck types. Uh, one was uh, Marincest with the uh, Paleos and Frogs, because I guess the the new um, Chaos Impact is supposed to have some some support for Marincest. And I also got to face. Um, it, I, I don't know the name of the the new ones. It's the it's the um, the Lynx monsters, a super poly link into other monsters during your turn. That was really intense. And um, uh, the deck I played was Solomon Great, and it did okay against that one. It did okay against the um, the Marincest um, Paleo Frog thing, but that guy was really skilled. I mean, the other guy was really skilled too, but it, it was just a grind match. And uh, I, I won a couple of times, which was pretty cool. Um, I, I like um, just testing out. My deck choices and uh, against other experienced people, and it was cool. Uh, the regional, <laughs> it was a little bit weird because uh, so signed up for the regional. It was supposed to start at 12, didn't start till 12:30, and my first win was uh, the person dropped. The second, my second thing, my second um, match, um, I was doing the play a play the master thing, 
and I didn't I thought they were gonna announce it that you know the next person was supposed to come up or the you know that we we're going on to the next uh, it was single round elimination um, I'm an idiot I didn't know what that meant um, I asked my friend and I, I thought it was just gonna be you're just gonna be facing one duel and then you if you get eliminated that's it I didn't know it was just a standard one match and contrary to Swiss if you lose that one match then that's it you're out but I, my friend told me that it was one duel it was fucking Sen Poppy that guy it was Sen Poppy that told me that it was only one duel so I, I, I didn't bring a side deck <laughs> and it was terrible the, the guy I faced was uh was, he was a cool guy he was he was cosplaying as um Trunks and um he had um an invoke deck which wasn't too hard to beat if I if I, if I had sided in the cards that I needed I would have I would have beat him but I didn't so also I brick like crazy like it was a Salmon Great deck I didn't draw any Salmon Great monsters so it was just brutal and uh yeah but overall the experience at Comic Con and oh I got to meet Sam Sam from Team Samurai he was so cool he was so down to earth uh, I took a couple of pictures with him so follow um for Neverworld he's a he's an anime reviewer and things like that he was there also so it was pretty cool and uh, Sam was in background uh, I think he participated in some events also like Winamat and he was also in the background doing his videos so it was pretty cool uh, but yeah overall uh, Comic Con was pretty awesome um, if if you ever get a chance to go to Comic Con I definitely suggest checking out the the Yu-Gi-Oh booth uh, overall it was super fun I, it's a shame I didn't win the regional but... alright and well and that was it that was uh that was my comic-con weekend um usually at comic-con it's exhausting but this year this is the first time i did anything Yu-Gi-Oh related usually i just go there and buy some product and things like that but this year i actually decided to compete in this uh regional that they had there and no regrets it, it was pretty fun uh, i got to talk to other duelists and uh how, how you doing your locals and but it's just cool at, in the comic-con setting it was, it was very exciting and uh yeah if you guys ever get a chance to do it i, I suggest you do it it is very time consuming though it, it is i spend a majority of the the day there like most of it because i didn't want to miss it actually when i was supposed to go to the second round to face the guy I, like i said i almost missed it because i was off it was in within the same thing but right as i went back they're like oh you know they were calling my name and i was like oh i'm right here they're about to cross me out and say that i you know i was out of the tournament but yeah anyway guys thank you guys for watching remember no matter what the last prize card the last life point never surrender never give up catch you guys next time